Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So today we're going to be taking a look at the genres in movies from that were released in 1981, like this one I was going to show you. So let's dive right into this. Today on the Physical Media Video Library series... Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to be showing you the genre categories in movies, especially that I have here, because I have mostly of those movies released in 1981, depending on the genres I have, whether it's sci-fi, fantasy, mystery, as well as mostly of them, just to let you all know, because I'm going to show you in there, in the categories all from the 80s on there from what I understand as well. Just so you let you know. So, without any further ado, which is right here and right now, I'm going to show you what we have here for today. The first one I'm going to start off here that I forgot to show you in the in the late, in the previous video I have is The Watcher in the Woods. I understand that this movie I have on DVD that was released in 1980, which is on April 17th, but when it was premiered in the U.S., it premiered on October 17, 1981, from how I acknowledge this when I got this on DVD as well. And if you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. This movie features the legendary actress and two-time Oscar winner Bette Davis in this movie. Yeah, this has the actual trailer, and this, has, and this DVD also has alternate endings on there. Wow. Apparently I have, this comes in a slip cover like this. I'm not sure, yeah, it, this is a 2004 DVD release I have. Yeah, the, every Disney movie is on DVD, some of them may have a release date, some of them don't have releases. But this one I have, apparently, this is a 2004 DVD release I have, from what I understand. Yeah. Apparently, this DVD has alternate endings on there. The music in this movie was composed by legendary, J composed by James Horner in that one. So I have to put it under the fantasy on there. But I forgot to show you in the 1980 movie genre categories. But pretty soon, I, in the in another sub video for 2022 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. This will be shown again in the 1980 movie genre categories when 2022 comes as well. Because we'll see about that. The next one I have some adventure movies I have here is Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is the first Indiana Jones movie that I have here because, well, why not? I think I found this VHS tape at a, with a, in a bunch of other tapes. Tapes back in, in my grandmother's house back in the day as well. Yeah, just what I remembered. I mean, here is the spine here, and also, and the other spine, because it looks a little worn out, though, but it's just how it was in a, bun in a bunch of, with the, all the other tapes on there, from what I understand. Here's the side top here. It just says Raiders of the Lost Ark on here, with a little closed captioning logo on there on the top of the VHS here. I mean, if you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. Feel free as well. There's only two screenshots in the movie, though. Apparently, this is a 1989 Paramount Home Entertain video release I have on VHS. And it says, Roger Ebert's home movie com Home Companion said, The most incredible series of action and stunt set pieces I've ever seen in a movie, it said on there. Yeah... Some of them have on were on VHS tapes. On this one says Paramount, a Paramount Communications Company, but on the other editions from in the eighties on VHS, some of them have say a Gulf of Western Company on there. From what I understand, here's the, the sticker label here from what I was going to show you, and not to forgot what I was going to show you, he, and here's the sticker label here. That's pretty much how most Paramount movies are on VHS that has the sticker label on the side to, on, uh, of this VHS, from what I understand as well. 
Yeah, because I think I found this in a with a bunch of other tapes back in my grandmother's place, from what I remember. And the next one I have from Disney, I have on VHS. I have is the Fox and the Hound. I have the I got this VHS tape for a ninety nine cents at a yard sale. I believe, or my aunt gave me this VHS. I think it's like a gift. I got this. So I just go, huh? Why not? Because I got this as a gift anyway. And yeah. If you want to read on the back of the VHS, feel free to read if you like as well, if you want as well. Yeah, there's some couple of screenshots here. And here I was going to show you the side of the, the spine on the VHS tape, which I was going to show you. It has that little the Black Diamond logo, which says the classics. And yes, this was the last VHS tape in the Walt Disney Classics collection with the Black Diamond logo on it, which is before the... Many certain Disney movies were having another edition with the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection. I mean, this is under part of the Walt Disney Classics Collection on VHS back in the in the 80s and from 1984 until 1994. Yeah, this is the last Disney VHS with the Black Diamond logo on it in 1994. Because, well, why not? Because you can't go wrong with it. But that's just how it is. Apparently, it's also available on DVD and also on Blu-ray with The Fox and the Hound 2, from what I understand as well. And also, I got another movie I have from, from, from fa for the fantasy genre I have here is Dragon Slayer. This is part of the widescreen collection on DVD, because I got this on my birthday back in 2006 or seven, which I remembered. Yeah, why not? Because I was going to show you the sp spine on the VHS. Yeah, you could you know, recognize on the Paramount DVD on tagline on there. I believe it's part of the Paramount widescreen collection DVD tagline right there, which I was going to show you as well. Yeah, it says the spine here. And you can notice the the closed captioning logo on there for imperative hearing, from what I understand as well. I mean... If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. No extras whatsoever, but the only spe it says the widescreen version, which is enhanced for 16 by 9 TVs only on there. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the, the darker fantasy movies from Walt Disney Productions, which Disney and Paramount had a lot to do with for this movie, what Dragon Slayer had the thing for this as well. Yeah, because... You can't go wrong with it. I got it's. I need to rewatch this movie as well because. Oh, I should put this under the fantasy. Huh. Sorry about that. Yeah, is that better? Oh yeah. The next movie I got, what I got recently from uh, Rasputin Music, which I was going to show you when I was buying a lot of anime back in 2018, which was three years ago. I have is American Pop. This is my favorite Ralph Bakshi film on there. Yeah, this movie has the state of the art of, of, of in living in animation on there on this DVD. Yeah, from what I understand. Yeah, this movie features the music of The Doors, J Jimi Hendrix, Leonard Skinner, Janis Joplin, Bob Seger, and many more artists on there in the movie American Pop on DVD. Yeah. I mean, if you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. I like how the thumbnail, the screen, the screenshots in the thumbnail from what I found. Yeah, it looked like something I don't think RCA Columbia Home Video would have released this, but it was released on VHS back in the '90s, in from and also on Laserdisc back in the day. Yeah, this movie was directed by Ralph Bakshi, who is the creator of Fritz the Cat, The Lord of the Rings, and Wizards. And, and Oh, and also he directed Fire and Ice and Heavy Traffic as well, from what I remember. I mean, I was not a big fan of Cool World, but he American Pop is the best movie in there. Enough said. Yeah, because I got this on DVD. Because I think I'll put it under the 80s movie, music movie, or... Yeah, drama movies are, if you want to know, in the genre category. And the next one I got is, on Blu-ray, 
heavy metal. This is actually my favorite 80s sci-fi movie on here. Because you can't go wrong with heavy metal because... If you read the spine on here, which I was going to show you on this DVD. Yeah, because I, I wanted to get this when I was buying a lot of anime. Because I got this at Rasputin Music back in 2019, which is a couple years ago on here, which I was going to show you. And yeah, if you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. I noticed that the movie Heavy Metal has the music artists from... Um, Grand Funk Railroad, Blue Oyster Cult, Cheap Trick, Black Sabbath, Don Felder, Stevie Nicks, Journey, and many other artists that you, you would hear in the movie Heavy Metal on here. But that's how it is as well. And if you want to pause there, read it as well, too. Yeah, the special features of Heavy Metal has the original feature-length rough cut with optional commentary by Carl Masek. And this has deleted scenes with optional commentary and Imagining Heavy Metal documentary on there. Because apparently this is a 2011 and Sony Home Entertainment release I have on DVD, Blu-ray. Because I was originally going to get this on DVD, but instead when I picked this on, when I saw the Blu-ray of it, I go, eh, why not? I'll just pick it up on Blu-ray anyway. Here's the, the disc on there. Here, which I have here. And also, there's the reversible cover on here, which I was going to show you. Cool thing about this one is, this movie on Blu-ray does have a reversible cover. Yeah, Heavy Metal was released on VHS and Laserdisc back in 1996 or 98, I, re I believe. But that's just how it is. And the last one I have here for the post-apocalyptic 80s movies I have is The Road Warrior. This is the... The first Mad, the Mad Max movie I got on Blu-ray for like a dollar back in 2018, three years ago. Also, if you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well, which I was going to show you if you want, to, if you like to read this as well. Go ahead. This has commentary by director George Miller and cinematographer Dean Semler. And, and this also has the introduction by Leonard Malton on here. Yeah, because I had to get this on Blu-ray, from what I understand. And here's the Blu-ray disc on here. And it's not bad, because only just a dollar at a library book sale. How much I got this? A dollar? That's right. One dollar for the Road Warrior on Blu-ray, when I had to get this as well. And that's all I have, what I got for today. So that's going to be it for my video for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm saying for this one. Even though that this video is made possibly with the Physical Media Video Library series, today is the day I wanted to have an announcement to make. It looks like I'm finally going to get my second COVID-19 vaccine shot, because I, even though about a month ago I got my first COVID-19 vaccine shot, because I'm going to give a little announcement on all that, even though I have been doing a lot of my previous videos that were made possibly with the Physical Media Video Library series in the past, which I show you Watcher in the Woods DVD, which I forgot to show you in the previous video in the 1980 movie genre categories, but that'll be soon for the 2022 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series, I guess. Let's wait until we'll see about that until 2022 comes. Hope subscribe for content. My anime pal link in the description down below. You share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all the social media. Smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Smack the notifications bell button. And that's all I got to say because now is the day that I'm going to get my second COVID-19 vaccine shot because even though I have been quarantined at home since the pandemic back in March... Because that's why I wanted to do some DVD collection type videos that were made possibly with the physical media video library series and some anime reviews. That didn't take very long because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you liked it and hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon for the next video and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos.